Peter Parker is a well-known name all around the world. I'm sure if you ask your mom, dad, friends, grandparents, or even your ex, they'd all know the name Peter Parker. Or if they live under the rock and they'd be like, who's that? Then that's when you just put on your Spidey suit and force them to watch all the movies. <laughs> Anyways, Peter is a beloved character. I could go on and on how he inspired me as a person and yada yada yada. Hey yo, that's some cringy shit, bro! The comics captured his undying spirit and the will to never give up, to help others in need. He's literally just some guy that you can just relate to. He gets tired, he gets stressed, he gets overwhelmed. Hell, he even has relationship problems. Talking? No, 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 not that kind of over. I feel this shit, dude. I'd like to say that I like the movies, even the not so good ones. I feel like all the actors do such a great job of being the man that we all know and love, but there is one person that I'm pretty sure that we're all close to. John Bubnayak. I hope I'm saying that right. Spider-Man 2018 takes roughly about 12 hours to beat, and with those 12 hours, you fall in love with this face. When you play the game, you feel like you're in the shoes of not just Spider-Man, but Peter Parker. I'm sure you guys have probably seen the High Tops Films video. If not, I'll link it down below. It's a really cool video. This rendition of Spider-Man is a perfect modern adaptation, and Insomniac has a clear handle on what makes Peter Parker fascinating and relatable. The game has been out for two years now, and I'm pretty sure if you owned the game, you'd be playing for more than just 12 hours. But that time, you spent time swinging around New York City, doing missions, and you connect more and more of Bubniak. Everything's all cool and dandy till September 30th, 2020. I didn't release a video on the YouTube channel revealing the new Peter Parker face. Tony Lopez. Fuck. No, wait, wait, wait. I meant Ben Jordan. I'm so sure that the reveal upset a lot of fans. I mean, it confused me the most, too. What the hell? Fuck. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know. Uh, you see? Fuck. What? Why did they change his look? Why does he look like fucking Tom Holland? He Loki looks like Tom Holland. Honestly, I think this would have been a lot better if Insomniac announced it on Twitter. But their excuse to replace Bumnak's face was for the next gen performance on the PlayStation 5. There probably were people who didn't mind at all, but there are definitely people who were. And they threw disgusting death threats, which is not cool at all. Don't. What the hell, dude? Insomniac also confirmed that they would not be bringing back Bumnak's model and that we should just get used to it. With that all the way planted deep in the soil. Let's get into this awkward change. Jordan's appearance was in Spider-Man Miles Morales, and my first impression was that Peter was a douche. I mean, it's a new game. We're not connected to this person, and the thing he does is dip on Miles for a vacation. A little voltage analysis? Oh, man. Yeah, sorry. I've been meaning to tell you, I'm not gonna be around for the next few weeks. Is this some kind of pee joke I don't get? Look, I don't know if I'm ready to fly solo. I started this journey on Twitch, right after I beat Miles Morales, I wanted to play the remaster to see if I could connect to Ben Jordan's face, like the way I did with Bubniak. Unfortunately, I had to try to forget the face I was once connected to for like two years and embrace this change. Obviously, it took some time, but after like a few hours in, I was already getting used to it. <laughs> I was actually planning to hate the face no matter what, but the performance of your Lorenzo's voice, I hope I said that correctly <laughs> it fit jordan's face i don't want to believe it but here i am Ew. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that why are you looking at me like yo chill 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 hey bro 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 <laughs> Ew, don't look at me like that i'm uncomfortable every heartfelt exciting sad and crazy moment felt the same as bubniak's role i also believe that it fits peter's youthful charm i mean yeah he's 23 years old and spidey so acts like an ignorant <laughs> child and let's not be real here ben jordan he has the dopest hair. Like, honestly, if Insomniac put Jordan's real hair into the game, that would have actually looked like the 1994 Peter Parker, which would have been sick. Now, we all know the iconic last scene with Aunt May and Peter. Although I was focused on the face more than the story, I actually really enjoyed Jordan's performance. One small detail that really hit me was seeing tears in Peter's eyes, which I don't think was in the previous game. There was so much emotion put into the scene, it actually made me enjoy it 10 times more than it did before. <sighs> Oh, this is so sad, dude. If they had Jordan's face before on the PS4, I definitely would have ugly cut to the scene. When Insomniac said they changed the face for next time performance, they really meant it. We all got our initial reaction with the reveal trailer, and this shot alone 
It looks like it was straight out of an MCU film. I know I'm probably getting a lot of hate for this video. I mean, hell, you guys might have a point. I never had a console. So I just watch YouTube videos all the time about the game. Either way, hopefully we can all just embrace this new change because it's super cool to see the direction Insomniac took. They made a spectacular game, so I trust every decision they make. I could even review the remaster if I wanted to. You know what? Why not? The Spider-Man remaster for the PlayStation 5 is straight up gorgeous. My dumbass ran Miles Morales in fidelity mode, think it was in performance mode. So I ran the remastered game in actual performance mode, and my god. The 60 FPS is amazing. God damn. Oh. And to anyone who doesn't know what FPS is, it's frames per second. The more frames there are, the smoother things on the screen will be. Fidelity mode runs 30 FPS and performance runs 60. So I was already blown away with the frame rate. For the best quality though, I did run the game in fidelity mode throughout the story just to go through the next gen experience of graphics. Not to mention the graphics have definitely improved. Even just owning the PlayStation 4 game looks great itself. The attention to detail never ceased to amaze me. I mean, one cool thing I noticed is when you dive down, you can see how the fabric on the suit flaps. I may sound dramatic, but the littlest things make the biggest difference. And not to mention, the ray tracing looks fantastic. The reflections, like, blew me away. I mean, here's a montage of me, like, going crazy about it. God damn, this is some next gen shit! This looks nice. Wow, this looks nice. Dude, look at that! That looks nice! Man, that looks nice. Hey, Pete. She looks good, too. God damn. Look at that. That is spot on. She looks nice, but that's also creepy as fuck. Holy shit. This is hype as fuck! Oh my god! This shit is so cool! Oh my god. Check this out, check this out, check this out. Whoa! You see that reflection over there? It shows his actual color. How you feeling, spider? Oh, you can see my shadow, dude. Scorpion? How did you get this number? Jesus Christ! You can't save me, Peter! I guess you can see the reflection in his eyes! Web singing never felt so fun, and there are some glitches and some dumb weird moments, but I love it. No, what? I think you just what are you doing, Peter? Correct. <laughs> Mr. Fisk. Oh, what the hell? Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. It sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had that Sorry, suit. <laughs> no. Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? <laughs> also, the music is spot on. I love the musical motifs that you hear. The story is very long. I wasn't a big fan of all the MJ and Miles gameplay because I felt like it slowed the story down. But the Grand Central mission, when you see Spider from afar, was awesome. And hiding from Rhino as Miles was. <laughs> it was pretty scary. This is a solid ass game and I'd rate it 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching guys. I know this is a very different video from what I usually make. But hey, I like to try new things and hopefully you guys can enjoy this change too. And I also want to try movie reviews too. So be sure to follow my Twitch. I will be streaming every single day and I love interacting with you guys. So don't miss out. If you're new to this channel, please leave a like and subscribe if you like my content. Before I go though, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Comment down below what you guys think about the new Peter face, if you like it or not. I'd like to hear all about it. That's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. Peace.